Texas fifth grader is having some fun with math. She used knowledge from a class project to give some advice to Six Flags over Texas. Kim Malasina introduces us. It is new for you at 5 o'clock. As you are working, I want you to share your... Math lessons inside Mrs. Pierce's fifth grade class at Pecan Creek Elementary in Denton are taking on real-world hypotheticals. I see friends solving in multiple ways. A recent class project focused on Six Flags Over Texas and its most recognizable roller coasters. And if Six Flags um, is going to get rid of them, one of them, which one should it be? They use their math skills to figure out which of the roller coasters is the least efficient and yields the least profit. It took me three tries to get the, the math right. But when she did, 10-year-old Penelope Nunez determined the shockwave had to go. Because it didn't give as much rides around and as much money, and it took up more space. 186. It's the kind of work high-dollar consulting companies charge for. This student was only looking to make an A. You could put a better roller coaster in and get more money, more trips around. Six Flags responded by saying, we love that our park is being looked at as not just a place of fun, but learning too. However, Shockwave is a guest favorite and a Six Flags over Texas icon, so we'll keep it around. And Ms. Pierce says the learning process during this project was enhanced because they chose a real world example to work on. I think it's about purpose. Um, our students come to learn and become who they're gonna be. Penelope has never seen the shockwave in person, and despite what the park is saying, she's insisting... They should take my advice. In Denton, Ken Molestina, CBS 11 News. Oh, she has quite a future. You have to hear this. Penelope, her teacher, and their families were just invited to Six Flags so they can share their research with the park president.